другий. Позиція 2024 року. Ракета пішла за ціллю. Горить! Сука, горить, сука! Другий. Позиція 2024 року. Ракета пішла за ціллю. German leader is a rotten liverwurst and he must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians. Medvedev German Chancellor Olaf Scholz must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians for playing a role in plunging their country into misery and helping to revive Nazi ideology, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has said. Writing on Telegram, Medvedev, who now serves as deputy chairman of the Security Council of Russia, lashed out at Scholz, who argued that President Vladimir Putin must finally realize that Ukraine is strong and will not be forced to its knees or forced to surrender. He went on to say that there can only be a just peace for Ukraine, adding that working for peace does not mean simply raising the white flag while reiterating Berlin's commitment to supporting Kiev. In response, Medvedev called Scholz a rotten liverwurst, who he said unexpectedly became chatty and talked outright drivel. The former president claimed that Ukraine has become a kind of dominion directly controlled by the United States and NATO countries, adding that Kiev is fully on the Western payroll and is receiving all kinds of the most lethal weapons despite the protests of its own people. So where does this strength come from? Sausage maker? From exuberant corruption which is completely out of control? From the wholesale theft of this aid by the Zelensky clique? Or from a dying people, half of whom live in Russia and Europe? Medvedev asked. Scholz should get down on his knees and repent before the Ukrainians for lying to them that they could achieve victory against Russia and for dooming them to the slaughter while sacrificing the well-being of the Germans, according to the former president. The German chancellor should also take responsibility for the revival of Nazism in Ukraine, his own indescribable mediocrity of management and the loss of public confidence in his social democratic party, which makes his pre predecessors Willy Brandt and Helmut Schmidt turn over in their graves many times over. Medvedev said, the former Ukrainian ambassador to Germany Andriy Melnik once called Scholz offended liverwurst. In 2022, the envoy said the chancellor was behaving not very statement-like after he refused to visit Kiev following Ukraine's criticism of President Frank Walter Steinmeier. Melnik was sacked following the remarks. The first Russian A-50 aircraft was shot down by a Patriot air defense system, American Colonel. In January of this year, a Russian A-50 airborne early warning aircraft was hit by an American Patriot anti-aircraft missile system. This information was shared by Colonel, Deputy Chief of Staff of the 10th Air and Missile Defense Command of the U.S. Army, Rosanna Clemente. The officer said that the defenders of the Ukrainian state used aerial ambush tactics. According to her, the fighters were specially prepared for this. In the middle of the night, the instructors activated the Patriot battery. The order was given to go to the firing position, work out and then retreat. The colonel added that Ukraine is currently armed with up to a battalion of Patriot air defense systems. Some of them are used to protect stationary objects, others move and do truly historical things. I have not seen this in 22 years of work in air defense, she emphasized. For the first time in history, the Russian AWACS aircraft A-50 was destroyed on January the 14th of this year in the skies over the Sea of Azov. Ukrainian soldiers also managed to hit the IL-22 air command post 
it reached the airfield, but according to the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, it cannot be repaired. Russian propagandists reported that as a result of the liquidation of the A-50 aircraft, at least 11 occupiers were dismissed. In addition, enemy propaganda dispersed the fake news that the defeat of the A-50 and the IL-22 was supposedly a mistake of the Russian air defense. On February the 23rd, another A-50 aircraft was shot down over the Sea of Azov and the plane crashed into the Krasnodar region of the Russian Federation. Journalists learned that the plane could have been destroyed using a modernized missile for the Soviet S-200 air defense system.